Day one of the con. Ghost face. So we're heading, we have like about less than an hour before the doors open for the con, at least for the VIP, it's because like I said, uh, very important weed. So I didn't have this on camera, but uh, when I was, um, I went to go take a shower in my hotel room. Next thing I know, I hear, we hear the alarm blasting throughout the entire hotel apparently. And um, apparently there was a fire alarm and it was saying all guests have to evacuate immediately. And then, um, so I was like, what? Seriously, oh, on today of all days. So I was gonna put on some of the clothes I already wore just so I can follow the orders. The next thing we know, it cuts out. And then uh, we weren't sure, but then right, and then that's when we heard the announcement from, uh, from the hotel, from one of the hotel clerks who's saying that the, that the alarm was false, it was a false alarm. And then uh, there was no emergency in the building, so that was good news. But for, for a moment, I just thought like, uh, what's going on here, it's like, you know? So, yeah, so false alarm. But I thought like, oh my God, what, we're in big trouble. I was confused and I was like, oh, well, whatever. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got jump scared a little bit just right now, but heading to the con right now. This is a Killer Angel Dust cosplay. Walk around here, just seeing some pretty good cosplays around here. I saw a couple of uh, has been hotel uh, cosplayers around here. Kind of a lacking of a few superheroes from what I see. Well, you know, what can you do? But I'm just walking back and forth right now. Okay, so there was actually something I forgot back at the hotel room, which I have to get right away. Uh, there's still people coming and going. There's also a cosplayer dressed as Vaggy, also from the Aspen Hotel. So I just need to go to the room real quick. I think there's about more than 15 minutes less before entry uh, into, the, into the con itself. I just hope um, once I get back and there's like five, ten, whatever minutes left that I'll be able to get some pics with some other cosplayers. Just right now I need to hustle and get one last thing from my room. Lightsaber. But uh, yep, I'll be back in a little bit. So look what I just ran into over here. Frieza. I, yeah, I had to come by and stop, you know, do a pit stop in our love your food. Oh. I hate your monkeys. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Just uh, coincidentally. Yeah, it turns out uh, he didn't really have the time for a vlog, but he did have uh, a few seconds left for a picture. That's a killer angel dust outfit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm waiting for Blake Roman. Right Wait now. for! Yeah. I know that. No, that Vassie's here. I mean, she was here not too long ago. I did not. I will have to be on the lookout. I just know Blake Roman's very recognizable. So, uh, well, hey, that's great. Come on. So we're now here inside of the con. It's exciting. So there was a few, I didn't see any guests. The first one I'm going to see, Jeremy Lee. This is probably gonna be fun. We're mostly gonna see pictures and stuff like that. But anyways, um, gotta put the camera away for a minute. So I will just, feel, I'm just gonna film what I'm exploring. So if anything, you're just gonna see a picture slideshow. So I hope you enjoy that.
But yeah, but aside from that, that's it. That's it for day one. Maybe I'll see if I can find someone along the way. But that's it. Hello, Lee. This is Kari Waldron, the voice of Tigress from Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness. Now listen, I've worked with Poe for a long time, and I've learned a thing or two. And so if you find yourself in a vulnerable position and you need to get out of it, just remember the key word, skadoosh. Train hard, my friend. Learn the ways of kung fu. And I hope you never have to get into a dumpling eating contest with Poe. Listen, Poe drives me crazy sometimes, but I always like to think that deep down, we're good friends. Tyler. What's up? Pete Capella, voice of Silver the Hedgehog. Here's the thing. I hear that maybe you aren't too keen on the game I was in. Guess what, Tyler? I'm coming for you. I know some imposters have taken over my voice, but I'm coming back from the future to get you. And when I do, it's no use for you to resist how awesome it's going to be. Hey, Tyler, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here. Hey, listen, I want to give you some really good advice. If you're going too fast, watch out, because you can get seriously hurt. So slow down. Slow down when it's necessary. And this is Shadow the Hedgehog. Hello, Tyler. I just want to give you some advice of my own. Don't let anyone know that I told you this. If you find yourself in a situation where you could get seriously hurt, don't hesitate to pull out your gun and use it. I prefer to shoot them in the heart. Whoa! Shadow, that's really extreme. Yes, but it could save Tyler's life. Okay, I guess, but still, that's a little extreme, wouldn't you think? Yes, I know it's extreme, but sometimes life is extreme. Oh, I agree with that. Well, listen, Tyler, either way, with my advice or Shadow's advice, keep yourself safe. And remember, don't use Formula One race cars when chasing hedgehogs. And you are the ultimate life form. And remember, you are the ultimate life form. Hey, that's my line! Not anymore! So anyways, guys, um, so I'm not done exactly just yet. I just had to bring back some of the stuff that were, that I don't need for for the rest of the con. I got to finally meet Pete Capella. I got to meet Mila Lee. I'll show you the rest later tonight. But I just had to bring some of this stuff up so I can make space in my bag.
But yeah, so that's it for... It's almost it, but technically that's almost it for day one. So we're going to go back down and try to meet some cosplayers too. I'm just going to try to see if I can get everyone else to get the signatures that I need. Okay, guys, we're back at the room to settle in for another night. So this right here, we have all the stuff that I have signed. And um, there might be one or two that I might get signed. If I see the voice actors again, it'll most likely just be to get pictures or just talk to them. It sucks. Uh, stuff like that. But it's time to eat from the Texas. The Texan station cannot wait. Okay, we're going to be trying the nachos. They're... There was some ingredients that I wish I said I didn't want this, like, you know, jalapenos and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not that much into spicy, but, yeah. Mm. Good. Mm. Mmm. Pretty good. For the most part. Mmm. Mmm. I asked them for pork. Mmm. Good nacho. Alright, big bite with just about everything. Mmm. Good nachos. Good nachos. Up next, we got mac and cheese. Mm. Mm. The cheese, it's pretty good. I think it's pepper jack, cheddar, mozzarella. It's a good mixture, and it also has great seasoning. And like a mixture between one or two different noodles. And it's so creamy. It's that's amazing mac and cheese. Okay. Now I do apologize in advance that the that the lighting is pretty bad. But anyways, let's try a French fry. Seasoning. I mean salty, I know it's how the fry is supposed to be, but The seasoning, best I, des I can describe it, you know, I'm going to try one plain. So it has like, I don't know, like a Texas barbecue twist to it, something like that. That's the best I can describe the french fry, but it's quite tasty. But now, let's try this V-Line v Railroad Burger. Mm. Mm. Okay, I need to get some napkins, but it's pretty good burger. Definitely, definitely a good burger. So, the dessert's going to be eaten in a completely different way. So we have like vanilla ice cream with like nuts, whipped cream, and a mini cone with sprinkles and dipped in chocolate. So we're gonna see what we can do right here. Yeah, 
This is going to be quite messy. Mmm. Mmm. Well, before we wrap it up for night number one here, so I'm going to show you the autographs that I got. So most likely these are all the autographs I'm going to be getting. Excuse me. But um, there might be one or two that I might still get. But I just thought I'd show you what I got here. So next time if I see the voice actors again, most likely I'm either going to get a picture or say hi. But we have Tiki which I have signed for Sarah and it says you are a miracle by Mila Lee voice of Tiki also for Sarah I didn't get one last year for Sarah but we got a picture of Max Newman signing a picture of Plague for Sarah I love cheese <clears throat> and also Sarah Strong the voice of Roar the Tiger Kwame also, I got for Sarah. Stay miraculous. Roar. I got a poster of Pete Capella's silver from Sonic 06. We actually talked a lot about what about the Sonic game because that's how most of the Sonic fans got to know Silver and Pete Capella of that he's the voice of Silver and all that stuff. And then we actually did have a brief and great talk about what could have been done better to make Sonic 06 great. We know that there's Project 06 going on with the game, improving the characters, movements, and everything, which is still really great. But we're, we were just talking about how also how the story could have been written better and such like that. So, yeah. So, right here. Uh, so, it says, Mark, it's no use! And uh, Pete Capella's uh, silver signature with uh, the symbol of his hand. I actually, he actually signed me two posters. One, um, the first time he signed the poster, I actually rolled it up a little too soon and it ruined part of the signature. So he did another one for me and I left it like this so it could just dry up easily. It's a lot better now. So yeah, the, the poster is also a little too frail. So I got to be careful when I roll it up. This poster right here. So, on the Miraculous Ladybug poster, it's actually been getting signed over the years. But, the newest one that we got, we got Tiki right there. And we got Kaiji Tang, the voice of Suhan, to sign that part of the poster. So, that's that. And, oh, and we also got Roar, Sarah Fox. That's uh, that must be the voice, right? Yep. Or no, Sandy Fox. I almost had it, but we got Sandy Fox, which and I got the French transformation phase signed onto that, which is paint my stripes, which I do think was better fitting. There is still about one or two or a couple other voice actors I'd like to get signed, but but now it's just mainly it's mainly complete because we have Adrian, Marinette, Plague, and Tiki on there, and a few extras. So that's that for the Ladybug poster. We got a Sailor Moon poster. Now, this wasn't actually, I actually bought the poster online. Then now this is Sailor Moon Crystal. And this is actually supposed to be Sailor Moon powered up. So we have two different dubbed voice actors or voice actresses who voice Sailor Moon. We have Chairman Lee. This is Chairman Lee that I got signed last year. And we got Linda Ballantin right here. I'll punish you in the name of the moon. So yep, I got I got that poster signed. Next up we have 
we got a has been hotel poster. I there was a poster featuring everybody, but everybody wasn't exactly here, so I couldn't get everybody there. Like what I mean by that is that like there was about still about one or two or three people that were still not in, in attendance. So I got this poster, which is the key. So yeah, but we still got signatures by all five of the guests that were here. Joel Perez, Amir Talai, Erica Henningsen. By the way, Erica was amazing. Great person to talk to. Very friendly and very cute. <laughs> um, Crystal Alaba... Crystal... No, Christine... Christina Alabado. And she was pretty adorable. And we did talk about how... Her character was very sexy, and excuse me for forgetting the name, but I just don't really re want to waste my time thinking about it. And Blake Roman. So yeah, we got everybody right here. Great people. So I'll let you take a look at all about the extra quotes that they wrote in. So yeah. Next poster. So this is a Spider-Man poster I got last year at WeebCon. So we have, well, actually, no, I got this two years ago in 2021, and I had it signed by, um, what was it, 2020, I think it was 2022, I can't remember, but I met Yuri Lowenthal, and he got this one signed, and, but we got a second signature, and that's Robbie Damon. We got Ladybug and Cat Noir, the movie poster, we got it signed by three people, and Yakko. Just believe in yourself, which is amazing and very true. And Yako, voice of Sabine. We got Plague and Tiki. We just have three more people to get in there and maybe a couple extras, if anything, if, if it happens. Now, this is a poster of Krillin. I was hoping by 8x10, which he did have, but he didn't have an 8x10 with just Krillin. So he just had this poster. So we have it signed by by Sony Straight, which is great guy. We talked a little bit about like how I watch been watching Dragon Ball Z since the Nicktoons era, and we also talked about how screwed up Dragon Ball Evolution was. And yeah, oh get this, and he also he even drew that picture of Krillin freaking out, which is very hilarious and very amazing. And now we have those out of the way. Let me show you the small little pictures that I got autographed. We have the Miraculous Season 4 picture signed. I just have two more people to get in there. We have uh, Bryce Pattenbrook, uh, Mila Lees, Tiki, um, Max Minuman, Plague. Next we have, we have um, a, a picture of Alistair and Charlie signed by Erica Henningsen and Amir Talai. I really like them together. I really like the chemistry. Oh, lots of love. Effin' love. Oh, and I just threw it. Uh, and we, yeah. See ya, oh, see ya in hell, Mark. Yep, me too, brother. We have a Sailor Mars picture signed by Katie Griffin. And, uh, Christina V also dubs her in another, uh, in another, I don't really recall. But, we're gonna get Christina to sign this at some point. So we have, uh, we also have an Oscar Langley Sorio, uh, voice, um, uh, signed by Tiffany Lynn Grant. And, um, uh, I really like, I actually really like this picture. Uh, charmed, huh? And I'm charmed to no extent. Yep, just look at this. Charmed on. All right, we're just gonna put that to the side. We have a picture, we have an 8x10 signed by Jason Griffin. Jason Griffith, who voiced Shadow and Sonic in the past decade or so before Roger Craig Smith took over. Legendary. It was an honor to meet him at long last. We have uh, Starfire, signed by Carrie Walgren, who voiced her in the Titans Go movies. So amazing. And also speaking of Carrie Walgren, she also signed this 8x10 picture of Tigress. This Tigress is actually from the movies, but she actually voiced her uh, in Legends of Awesomeness. We even talked about what the issues of Legends of Awesomeness was and what could have been done to really improve 
Tigress as a character in that series, but we did agree that the series was good for what it was able to do. But yes, so Kerry Walgren, thank you very much. And we have a... Uh, we have Amir, who signed another picture of just Alistair. See it down here soon. We also have another picture of, we have a picture of just Charlie. Uh, I can't really get you to see that, oh. That's Princess of Health to you. I think that's what it says. But yeah, that's Charlie. And here is a, this is actually a custom picture of, from I Am Blixful. Um, this is actually supposed to be Sabine comforting Marinette after learning that she's Ladybug. And I got her to say, I love you, Marinette. There's a, there's a big meaning behind this picture. And finally, we do have another Tiki picture signed, but this time it's to her. So those are actually all the merchandise that I have signed, guys. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up for night number one. Thank you for watching, and, well, the vlog's not over yet, but I'll keep you guys in touch while I'm here and while we're still waiting for the trip to wrap up. But I'll keep in touch with you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Day number two. And this time, today, I am dressed as Spider-Man! Yo kurubo shou! Spider-Man! The Japanese Spider-Man from 1977. And as you can see, like, the reason why the lenses are, you know, in, a, like, an awkward position is because, like, like if you've seen the series when it was aired, like, it would, it would technically, you know, be in an off-putting position. So I tried to correct it as best as I could, but, you know, that's how it turned out. And I got the exact replica of the spider bracelet. But, yeah, pretty simple costume. So it's not going to be easy to take the mask off because, you know, the zipper goes across the shoulder. But hopefully I can see everything just fine. Just considering the fact that I don't have my glasses. Do need to get laser eye surgery in the future at some point when I have the money and such. Insurance just doesn't cover it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get my stuff. I Thankfully, I don't have to pack much. But if I happen to see the voice actors once more, then who knows? But time for day two. So this is what you do when you want to take a little break, have a little snack, get some foreign snacks to enjoy. Mm. Hasbin Hotel. Yeah, I'm sure if we're gonna get in, but you know, very popular. But it is a big room on the other hand, so let's just hope for the best. Yeah, I also um, explored more of the ballrooms up here. Quite fun and a little bit more to explore. That is for sure. Hi, I'm Ray. Um, so, from the start of production to now, what was y'all's favorite like moment that you had? My, sorry. My favorite moment was we had our premiere in New York, and it was the first time that all, almost all of the VAs were in the same room together and got to meet each other, because we're recording pretty much individually on our own when we do these episodes. Well, we went to the panel. The Q&A was in, in place. I was in line, did not make it. They had to end it. But, uh, you know, we still have, like, today and all, and all tomorrow, so that's that.
Look who we have here. It's Wally. Yeah, next time when I go to a convention that's part of a part of the hotel like this one, I really should consider getting my tripod for my phone if I want to do anything for TikTok or anything like that. Well, lights out for day two of WeedCon. So tomorrow is the very last day. And uh, very excited to wrap that up. I'm going to be, tomorrow before I go, I'm going to be double checking if I do need to see if I got some stuff here signed. If not, what I will do is just like, there will be a couple of pictures that I will get. And I might get one 8 by 10 picture signed and such like that. But not a whole lot. And I'm also going to still try to meet as many people as I can, cosplayer-wise. Was able to meet a few people today. Or, well, quite, quite a handful, of I should say. And um, also, I got this new Spider-Man. Um, I think it's a coffee, coffee cup of some sorts. Travel mug. Glad I could have that in my position. So, anyways, guys, um, I was going to go to In-N-Out, but I'm going to have to save that for tomorrow night. Not really waste it, but I will get it for tomorrow before I head out back home. And so, thank you, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for the final day. Okay, I had to let the camera charge overnight. I only somehow left it on, like, all day. So, I had to wash up again, so I'm going to brush my teeth and get dressed again. It's the last day of the con. I got my 70s uh, Spider-Man suit, and this is the web shooter, the utility belt from the 70s. Well, it's a replica, anyway. But today's the last day, and I'm going to meet some of the voice actors that I do hope to see again in the future, maybe. But And then maybe get one or two more autographs and pictures. And so, that's that. And then, along the way, I'm just going to try to meet... Uh, as many new people as I possibly can, get their Instagrams and such like that. And uh, after that, when I have more time, I'm going to get in and out to wrap up the trip. And then I'm going to start packing. And uh, yeah, and I even got some uh, some stickers for my car. And uh, yeah, I made sure I have all the autographs that I need. And so we're good to go for the most part. I might get one or two more, but that's that. But anyways, guys. Oh, by the way, it's Easter. Happy Easter, guys. I hope your Easter is going pretty good. I met the Easter Bunny, uh, yes, last night. I, if you probably couldn't, um, if you saw it already, you saw the picture. But, yeah, happy Easter, guys. I hope your Easter is going good. It's time to celebrate Easter by wrapping up this trip.
Spider-Man, the guy in the paper. Hey guys, so I've actually been back at the hotel for about an hour or two now. Uh, I mean, technically, I think people were still cosplaying, but they ended up at around, they ended things a little earlier, probably because it's Sunday and there wasn't a lot of people. So it is now uh, about 10 to 7. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's getting dark right now. It will be soon, but it's overcast. And, uh, yeah, it was quite an experience. I mean, there was some things about the con that I wish could have been better. And uh, there has been people complaining that the contest uh, was botched or didn't happen or something went wrong with the judges. I don't know the story. Uh, but I have, uh, there it was some of the cosplay. I'm not going to point out what it was, but one of the cosplayers who I took a picture with before she left, uh, uh, she was dressed as Nico from, I think it was League of Dragons or League of Nations, something like that. Um, she actually posted something about what went wrong about the costume contest. I wasn't really, I was considering entering, but I think there was some rules that it's got to be homemade, or I guess, or something like that. Uh, I don't really recall, but yeah, something went wrong and they, I don't know, just didn't happen, I guess. But, um, <clears throat> so there was some management issues Apparently that there was some people saying that WeebCon wasn't able to do just fine. Fine. Um, I what I am thankful for about WeebCon is that like there is some celebrities. There was definitely a handful of celebrities I was thankful to meet. I met the has been hotel people. I finally met Milo Lee, the voice of Tiki. Um, you know Max Middleman. It was great to see him again and Jeremy Lee. And I got to meet a few other people that voiced this uh, like say Sailor Moon, but in a different dub. And. Uh, I was able to meet, like, I met Robbie Damon, uh, who, who, Robbie Damien, or Robbie Damon, I guess, I, I'm kind of, I'm botching the name, I guess, I know his name's Robbie, but he was one of the previous voice actors for Spider-Man, and yeah, so I was able to meet a good amount of people, and I was also able to make some, a good amount of new friends here at the WeebCon, and uh, here is some more merchandising I just purchased at WeebCon today, I actually got the first three albums of the Miraculous Ladybug manga series. Um, it's actually a really weird book. It's not not in that way. It's kind of like reversed. That you got to read that this way actually, rather than just like doing it traditionally like the other way. I guess that's just how it came out in China or France. I guess I don't know. You know, in America, obviously we read it from here all the way to here. So, so yeah, I got the three manga series books I think there's more coming. I don't know if the fourth one's already out or I think it's done I gotta look it up again and these are actually the stickers that were in that bag so we got a spider-man sticker a ladybug sticker a cat noir sticker and a mario sticker so these are basically like half <clears throat> chibis and half like 
actual drawings. So they're going on my car. And I got some Lego, more custom Lego minifigures. One of them is Spider Gwen, the other one's Mario, Luigi, and I got a Bills and Giants football player minifigures. Um, we got some candy sensu beans. And uh, a cosplayer was handing out candy. Oh yeah, by the way, it is Easter, like I said. So a cosplayer, I think she was dressed as an Easter bunny. I did, only had like a quick look. So like she actually gave me free candy without even talking to me. So she was like, here, take this. And so yeah, that was sweet. And I got some Dragon Ball gummies. Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball gummies. And uh, these are basically just like handout, mealy, like business cards, stuff like that. Oh yeah, the written in the stars comic uh, song. There's like a Milly actually announced that uh, that she has another another album in the works. And yeah, I love the uh, written in the stars. It's a really amazing song. So yeah, those are the last merchandisings that I bought. So in a little bit, I'm actually gonna go back to In and Out again and get some of that for dinner, and then come back to the hotel. And if I'm full or if I have one last bite, maybe I'll get a slice of pizza i guess i don't know but anyways um that's where we are now so oh and by the way i just started my packing process i'm just taking it slowly a little bit but i do gotta remember that i gotta get to it in i gotta get to most of it like 90 percent when i wake up and then pack the rest after i get ready to get on my flight i got my tickets ready and i sent my uh landing times to my mom and dad if they want to pick me up and I did call my mom earlier and like I did kind of keep this a secret that I was going away but after I had a falling out with uh, financial problems back in fall I, it's kind of put like a damper on myself where I want don't want to tell them what I'm doing I and she's right what she said I should just tell them it's just that like I don't because I'm like troubleized by that situation I just feel like I don't want to keep going running into this problem now Jesus has also announced that He's not that this is going to be his final year at World Finals. And basically, like I said, this was my choice between it was either this or World Finals. And I chose to go to WeebCon. <clears throat> but um, but he said that he won after this World Finals, he wants to stick to doing something. He wants to take care of his uh, stuff that's going on outside what he does, like his family and stuff like that, personal stuff. And he also wants to stick to working on trucks so for this year while i'm still not doing full-time and not ready to move on to full-time just yet i do have two other cons in the plan like i told you about and i do want to and i do want to do other stuff while i'm still with family and uh plus uh i have to go to brand i have to go to joe's wedding in november so there is some stuff i will take care of for the remainder of the year and then it'll be like if i'm still in my hometown Going into 2025, I really do got to focus on working to get to where I want to be. And Brandon Darrow has actually, I actually talked to him about like if there will still be possibilities that I'll do something with him when I'm at a show. And he said he'll keep in touch and he'll see what he can do. But uh, if he does do something about that and if he's still able to give me a gig, thanks Brandon, I owe you that. And uh, and to Triple B, like nothing against you, but... Uh, and I and and I have nothing against Rodney. I have nothing against the Tweeties. They're amazing people. I'm very thankful for what they did, giving me opportunities. But it's not their team. If it was their team, they definitely would give me more opportunities. But because this is up like to Triple B and this is his team, he wants to make the decisions. And because of these incidents that happen, they don't want to be reliable for anyone who doesn't work for them, and they wouldn't be able to cover anything. So they don't want to run into that risk. So right now, this is a we'll see kind of moment. But I will still stick to. Oh, and I have and versus Monster Trucks has also given me opportunity, and I'm thankful for that. They are still giving me a chance to work voluntarily and never lift more sports. I'll still talk to them, but I'm pretty sure they'll still do something with me too. But I'm and I'm thankful for that. But anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna get ready. I need to get dressed a little bit, maybe pack up just a little bit more, and I uh, will talk to you guys soon when we get ready for dinner. like a line of
planes coming in for landing here in Dallas. Let's see, another light in the distance. I won't uh, like obviously spend so much time, you know, filming this, but I just thought I'd show you guys. So yeah, there's like a line of planes coming in for a landing here in Dallas. There is another one in the background, right there. Um, but I won't stick around for it, but I just want to show you one more. So this is what it's like looking out this window to see planes coming in for a landing on one side of the hotel. The airport's like, you know, right down the street from here. Well, we're going to in and out Burger right now. I thought I'd show you something look pretty cool. Those lights in there, those are the planes. As you see, like, there's like, they're like going like in that direction and they're like making a turn right here and then go right over the hotel and then they go to the airport. So I just thought I'd show you what the concept of that's like. And I think that looks pretty nice, lovely. And, uh, beautiful lighting to the hotel i should also point out on uh, how lovely it is outside like even though it's nighttime I, like it's spring now like i think i don't know what it's like in new york right now i gotta double check but and there's a plane going right now speaking of the devil but it's a lot warmer out right now compared to new york so by the time i get back it might still be a little chilly but maybe not as bad but uh yeah i sent my parents i did I think I did say this, but I'm gonna say it again anyway. I did set my dad uh, the timing of when I'm supposed to land, but I'll give him a heads up my plane ends up getting delayed again like it did the first time. But yeah, I'll give him a heads up. But anyways, guys, let's go eat. But well, technically I'm not eating at the restaurant, but you know, I'm coming back, but either way, let's eat. Well, I decided to get an extra sandwich. Thankfully I didn't get too much, but I got the Dr. Pepper shake. I like how you do get the slight taste of Dr. Pepper, but I also like, well, although it does mainly have vanilla, I do like the Dr. Pepper twist it has to it. So I do like a vanilla twist with soda to make it close to a float. So it's really good. So get it while it lasts. Well, unfortunately guys, well, after I, I had the what a catch and a Dr. Pepper shake from Whataburger, I went to go to In-N-Out, and unfortunately on Easter, the hours are effective, so even though they tend to stay up late until like in the AMs, they are already closed. And it's only, I think about 10, yeah, it's already about 10, but yeah, but so I'm just going to chill, watch YouTube for a while, and we're going to wake up and see what happens after we get ready and leave the hotel. And I just hope checkout goes out okay. But yeah, so let's uh, hit the sack. Well, it's now Monday, April 1st. I actually pulled an April Fool's prank on mom. Well, it's small. I told her my flight got canceled and she was asking, was there no flight tomorrow? Then I told her with the clown emoji, April Fool's. Uh, Dad wasn't really so fooled by it. He knew what I was doing. So yeah, <laughs> happy April Fool's Day! If you were able to pull a slightly, if you were able to pull a pretty funny April Fool's Day thing on us, then uh, or on your friends or family, and you know, I hope you had a good laugh. But anyways, um, we now have all my stuff packed up. I have uh, my belongings packed up. Uh, there's still like about one or two more things, but 
for the most part, you know, I'm ready to go. So I actually do have time. My flight doesn't actually take off till 3.30. So I actually have plenty of time to get some in and out for dinner since it's not Easter hours. Um, I will not, I will record myself going there just to let you know that I was there. But I won't necessarily do the mukbang because I already did that. And, you know, we've been there, done that. We know that. But, and I was also hoping to meet up with someone who, who I made friends with at the con. But, you know, work happens, and, you know, I thought we would have, like, a couple of hours, I thought we would have, like, an hour or two, maybe get some coffee. Um, that's going to be a story for somewhere in the future. Maybe not the near future, but somewhere down in the future, if anything happens. Um, so, I got a cup of coffee made for me, just to last myself for the day. And then, I, I'm going to actually watch a couple more videos, let that cool for about 10 minutes, and then drink it. And then, we're heading out. And, like I said, just I just hope... Checkout goes okay, and then from that day point on, we're ready to go. There's probably a private ceremony going on, but here's my last look at the fountain. But yes, last night on Easter, uh, there was actually a light show going on on these um, little light screens right up here. People were like, infatuated by it or excited about it. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, now I'll give you one last look at the fountain in action. I couldn't film much of the con. It's mainly because like how there was music in the background. I was just worried like how copyrighted it would be. If it was like a lot louder, I guess it was also because I was distracted and seeing what I was to try to find what I could do. I was also trying to, you know, meet new people, stuff like that. And that is still what I like to do when it comes to conventions, even if I don't go to them as often as I like or as often as I could. But at the same time, you know, I probably should have. But if I do go, when I do go to another con, I will definitely do my best to do so, just as long as it's not like any loud, exposing music that would risk uh, my channel getting copyrighted or claimed to the point where I would have to risk like when I get to a thousand subscribers eventually I would get monetized and stuff like that anyways guys now for real time to go check out so checkout was pretty smooth so thankfully my credit card was already in file so I didn't need to swipe it or anything um, it, the, I'm not going to show you the bill, but I'm looking at it right here. So it was a little less than I was expecting to pay. I thought I was paying two grand, but it's a little less. It's a little less. But, uh, yeah. So next time for sure when I go to a con, like for WeebCon, I'll see what happens. If anything happens to me towards the end of the year, if I move out of state, uh, and if I'm doing anything, who knows if I'll still be able to go. But as for the other cons I have planned this year... In Atlanta and in Connecticut, I surely will just drive my car and I don't need to rent a car or fly, take a train or whatnot. They might be, well, Connecticut, it's not so far. But for Atlanta, although it may be far, it's still enough for me to just drive down there. I have drove to, uh, to Georgia once before when I was going, I think I was going to North Carolina, I guess, around that same day. I can't really recall. But can't really remember what, what what town it was um but anyways um i did drive to atlanta so i will be okay but anyways that's something we'll discuss in the future but right now it's time to go get some lunch and then we'll head to the airport and we're here and sure enough it's open thank god oh my god that was some meal i again had the flying dutchman I got the same 4x4 animal style without the lettuce and tomatoes, and it worked better. Regular double-double, and two different fries, regular and animal style. Yeah, that should keep me full for the remainder of the day. Also, I got, I asked for some In-N-Out hats to go, and thankfully, they were free, so I got five of them. Four for me, Mom, Dad, and Sarah, and maybe one for Chris, Sarah's boyfriend. So. Now that that's over, even if my flight has, what time is it right now? Uh, about three hours before the flight. Maybe I what I will do, maybe drive around somewhere. 
then uh then I'll bring the car back and then head to the airport. Same thing. I'm getting my words mixed up. It's all full. So okay, I'm gonna shut it off for right now. See you soon. Here at the airport, waiting to board the flight. Getting close. We were delayed for about two hours because of a broken weather radar, but uh, we are finally on a flight. We're not gonna be getting in until uh, sometime after nine, so that's where we're at right now, but we're finally about to take off.
do a go around, so that's why the plane revved up at that pla at that previous attempt at landing. So this should be it, I believe. I hope. So we're back home in Newark. My home's still up the street, but still. So I'm gonna have to end the vlog right here. Uh, once I get home, I really wanna hit the sack. And tomorrow I gotta do some unpacking and start editing the vlogs and then get my head in a clear space. But I'll see you guys next time and I'll keep in touch with you. So until then, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for, tu thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you guys very soon. And to all the cosplayers and voice actors, it was great seeing you, it was great meeting you. Glad we're friends now. And and once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.